Unit 2, Lesson 9. Number 1. Han ran 10 meters in 2.7 seconds. Priya ran 10 meters in 2.4 seconds. A. Who ran faster? Explain how you know. It took Han 2.7 seconds to complete the 10 meters, and it only took Priya 2.4 seconds. So Priya ran faster. B. At this rate, how long would it take each person to run 50 meters? Explain or show your reasoning. This is 10, this is 10, this represents 10, and that represents 10. Together, it totals 50 meters. So let's do Han first. He runs his at a rate of 2.7 seconds for every 10 meters. So we're gonna have to add 2.7 plus 2.7 plus 2.7 plus 2.7 plus 2.7, or we can do 2.7 times five, since we have it listed here five different times. 2.7 times five. Seven times five, 35. Two times five is 10, plus three is 13. And we're gonna move the decimal over one place. It's gonna take Han 13.5 seconds. So Han runs it in 13.5 seconds. So let's figure out how long it's gonna take Priya. 2.4 times five. Four times five is 20. Two times five is 10, plus two is 12. And we're gonna move the decimal over one place. So Priya runs it in 12 seconds. At this rate, Han would run 50 yards at 13.5 seconds. At this rate, Priya would run 50 meters in 12 seconds. Number two, a scooter travels 30 feet in two seconds at a constant speed. A, what is the speed of the scooter in feet per second? One second, two Two seconds. So if two seconds was 30 feet, so this is two seconds, one second would be half of that, so that would be 15 feet. A. What is the speed of the scooter in feet per second? 15 feet per second. B. Complete the double number line to show the distance the scooter traveled after 1, 3, 4, and 5 seconds. So here we had 15 feet for 1 second. Way over here, uh, 15 times 3 or 30 plus 15 is 45, 60. So this tick mark is going to represent 4 seconds. And then finally, this last tick mark, 60 plus 15 is 75. And that's going to represent five feet. So in five seconds, the scooter would go 75 feet. In four seconds, the scooter would go 60 feet. In three seconds, the scooter would go 45 feet. And in just one second, the scooter would go 15 feet. C. A skateboard travels 55 feet in four seconds. Is the skateboard going faster, slower, or the same speed as the scooter? 55 feet in four seconds. The scooter was going 60 feet in four seconds, and the skateboard is traveling 55 feet in four seconds. So the skateboard's not going as far because 55 is less distance than 60. So the skateboard is going slower than the scooter. Three, a cargo ship traveled 150 nautical miles in six hours at a constant speed. How far did the cargo ship travel in one hour? In six hours, the cargo ship traveled 150. I could cut six hours in half and figure out three hours. 150 divided by two is 75. Really, we're just gonna have to go 75 divided by three, and that's gonna give us 25. It reminds me of quarters, right? One quarter is 25 cents. Three quarters is 75 cents. Two quarters is 50 cents. So if I think about coins, it makes it a lot easier. How far did the cargo ship travel in one hour? The cargo ship traveled 25 nautical miles in one hour. Number four, a recipe for pasta dough says use 150 grams of flour per large egg. So one egg to 150 grams of flour. A. How much flour is needed if six large eggs are used? So if the ratio is 150 grams of flour to one egg, then six eggs 
That's six times more. So what's what's six times more than 150? We need to multiply 150 times six. Zero times six is zero. Five times six is 30. One times six is six plus three is nine. So we're talking 900 grams of flour if we use six eggs. How many eggs are needed if 450 grams of flour are used? 150 plus 150. By the way, this is one egg here, another egg here. So that's 300. So with 300, you would use two eggs. If we were to add 150 more grams of flour, we would end up with 450. If we added 150 more grams of flour, that would mean that we need to add one more egg. So if we added one more egg to the two eggs, we would have a total of three eggs. Number five, the grocery store is having a sale on frozen vegetables. Four bags are sold for $11.96. At this rate, what is the cost of? Of one bag. So to turn four bags into one bag, we really just need to divide the four bags by four. So let this be the number of bags and let this be the cost. 11.96 and four bags. Four divided by four equals one. So 11.96 divided by four will tell us how much one bag is sold for. 11.96 divided by four. How many times does four go into 11? Twice, two times four equals eight. 11 minus eight is three. Bring down the nine and bring up this decimal point. How many times does four go into 39? Nine times, nine times four is 36. 39 minus 36 is three. Bring down the six. How many times does four go into 36? That goes in an even nine times, and nine times four is 36. So we have no remainder, so we're done. So we know that 299 is the cost for one bag of frozen vegetables. So if one bag of frozen vegetables cost $2.99, then nine bags would be nine times larger than $2.99. $2.99 times nine. Nine times nine is 81. Nine times nine is 81 plus eight is 89. Two times nine is 18. 18 plus eight is 26. Move the decimal over two places. $26.91. So nine bags would be $26.91. $26.91. Number six. A pet owner has five cats. Each cat has two ears and four paws. A. Complete the double number line to show the number of ears and paws for one, two, three, four, and five cats. One, two, three, four, five cats. So the number of ears on zero cats is zero. The number of ears on one cat is two. The number of ears on two cats is four. So up here we're just increasing each by one, but down here we're increasing each by two. So we go zero to two, two to four, four to six, and then six to eight. For five cats, that would be 10 ears. So two, four, six, eight, 10. The number of paws. So the number of paws on each cat is four. So if there's zero cats, there's zero paws. If there's one cat, there would be four paws. So down here, we're increasing by one. So zero to one, one to two, two to three, three cats to four cats, four cats to five cats. So for one cat, there'd be four paws. Two cats, there would be eight paws. Three cats, there would be 12 paws. So up here, we're increasing by four. So we go zero, four, eight, 12. That's 12 plus four, 16. And then finally, 16 plus four would be 20. B. If there are three cats in a room, what is the ratio of ears to paws? 
So three cats, there'd be six ears. And three cats, there would be 12 paws. So six ears to 12 paws. The ratio of ears to paws for three cats would be six to 12. C, if there are four cats in the room, what is the ratio of paws to ears with four cats? Paws to ears. Four cats, that would be 16 paws. 16 paws on four cats. And four cats would have eight ears. Four cats would have eight ears. So the ratio of paws to ears on four cats is 16 to eight. D, if all five cats are in the room, how many more paws are there than ears? How many more paws are there than ears? If there are five cats in the room, so there's 20 paws to 10 ears. But they wanted to know how many more paws were there. So I'm gonna do 20 ears minus 10 paws. So there'd be 10 more paws than ears. There'd be 10 more paws than ears. Number seven, each of these is a pair of equivalent ratios. For each pair, explain why they are equivalent ratios or draw a representation that shows why they are equivalent ratios. A, five to one and 15 to three. So let's start out with five to one, 10 to two, 15 to three. So down here we're increasing by one, up here we're counting by fives. Five to one, 10 to two, 15 to three. These are equivalent ratios. B, 25 to five and 10 to two. So 25 to five, so 10 to two, 10 to two, which would mean that this one would be five to one. So up here, it looks like we're counting by fives and down here, we're counting by ones. One, two, three, four. So up here we get five, 10, 15, 20, 25. So 10 to two is an equivalent ratio as 25 to five. C, 198 to 1,287. compared to two to 13. Why are they equivalent? If we were to increase two to become 198, we'd have to multiply it by 99 because two times 99 equals 198. If we were to increase 13 to become 1,287, we'd have to multiply it by 99 because 13 times 99 equals 1,287. So I guess if you wanted to explain how the ratios 2 to 13 are related to 198 to 1,287 is that these numbers are multiplied by 99 to get these numbers. And that shows they are equivalent ratios. Congratulations, you have completed Unit 2, Lesson 9, Constant Speed.